I don't know about you, but whenever I go for a walk, I like to first put a few pieces of irregularly shaped gravel into the toe of my shoe, just to up the difficulty level of the hike. What are we talking about today? Buzz, 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 buzz. buzz. So on my walk earlier around the semi-urban streets of Iowa, I encountered a whopping this many rabbits. I haven't filmed that segment yet, but let's assume it's a lot. I could show you the footage of all of the rabbits, but it wouldn't make a difference because I can't tell any of them apart. Racist! Hey! Anyway, we've all heard the common colloquialism, ain't nothing boinks like a bunny. Try again. Uh, getting lucky today like Lepora Day? Nope. Uh, breeding like rabbits. That's the one. Rabbits have a lot of adaptations that make them the perfect offspring machines. A rabbit is sexually mature at around four months old. Their pregnancy lasts only one month, and they can get pregnant again immediately after giving birth. They are also induced ovulators, meaning that whenever a rabbit is getting it on, she can get pregnant. For these reasons, sailors would sometimes seed islands with rabbits, so that when they returned years later, there would be plenty of animals to hunt. You guys are too cute. I'll just give you the machete and tell the captain you overpowered me. For fun, let's take a look at potential reproduction under perfect conditions. Starting with two rabbits, assuming a conservative litter size of six bunnies, and ignoring inbreeding, after just 12 years, we end up with 2.35 octillion rabbits. And because rabbits can live up to 12 years, a mother rabbit might live long enough to meet her great 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 grand bunnies. But in reality, rabbit reproduction doesn't work out that way. Even though a mother rabbit could technically have a new litter of bunnies every month, she almost definitely won't. Not to mention natural limitations due to predators, disease, lifespan, and food supply. So rabbits, while prolific, probably don't have the best reproduction claim to fame. Let's expand our horizons and rewrite the Kama Sutra of beasts. What? Let's take sheer gestation time, for example, or the amount of time that an animal is pregnant before giving birth. The record for shortest gestation belongs to the marsupial family, with several species of possum and bandicoot giving birth in roughly 12 days. Of course, being marsupials, they cheat a little. The extremely underdeveloped babies need to live in their mother's pouches in order to survive. Care to guess which vertebrate holds the title for longest gestation period? No, it's actually not the elephant. Or the whale. It's actually the frilled shark, which can be pregnant for up to three and a half years. And while we're under the ocean, another creature deserves a special mention. The sow. Never heard of it? It's a species of tunicate, distantly related to the fish. It looks kind of like a jellyfish, but it actually has a beating heart. It filter feeds while using its water jets to navigate ocean currents. And salp reproduction is incredible. They hold the record for the sheer amount of biomass produced over time. And it's really complicated. You start with a single salp called an oozoid, which reproduces asexually by budding. These new buds attach to the first salp until you have a chain dozens or even hundreds of salps long. The chain is now called a blastozoid. These salps then reproduce sexually with other blastozoids. Now, each individual salp in the chain is born as a female, and later becomes a male in a process called sequential hermaphroditism. The females in the chain have the potential to become pregnant, develop a placenta, and grow a little baby, which leaves the chain and becomes an oozoid. Populations of salps explode very quickly in this way, creating swarms when food is abundant. Also worthy of mention are aphids, a creature you've heard of but probably don't spend much time thinking about. They are already pregnant when they are born. It's true, it's called telescoping generations. Most creatures first grow up and then reproduce, but aphids do both simultaneously. Newly born aphids contain embryos that are ready to be born when the aphid matures. Bacteria also do this, but in a less multicellular sense. Several species of bacteria can double in number in less than half an hour, exploding into the millions and billions over the course of a few days. One way they do this so effectively is through the use of nested replication. While the bacterium is replicating its DNA, it's also replicating the DNA needed for its granddaughter and great-granddaughter cells. So while each round of DNA synthesis can take a few hours, the next rounds already have a head start, allowing for population explosions. So the next time someone uses the phrase, lovin' like the long ears, you can do this. Well, actually, blah 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 blah. I'm great at parties, I swear. Before you go, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, favorite, visit my Patreon page, tweet, email, ask.com, Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest, Google+, and GeoCities. In that order. I thought the internet was supposed to make communication easier. See you next week.